Pamukkale project uh, encompasses uh, several old mines, uh, and you know this was once a pretty well-known district in Nevada, uh, once known as one of the highest grade gold districts in Nevada. Uh, we have about 300 old mine workings, you know, going back to the days of the old mining, and uh, and within that, probably more than 8,000 meters of underground workings, and uh, our guys have been mapping and sampling those uh, those workings. So we're standing at the portal to the Merritt Decline on New Range's Pamlico property in Nevada. Uh, the Merritt Decline was put down in 2013 by the family who owned the property. And it's essentially just a ramp that uh, goes down underground at an angle of about 12 degrees, so a fairly shallow slope. And um, the previous owners put it down to follow up on some high-grade drilling results that uh, they had achieved uh, from surface and their idea was to uh, start conducting some mining, small-scale mining uh, at this site. We sampled the walls of the decline and we got assays averaging about 2.92 grams per ton gold over 75 and a half meters uh, on, at the end of the decline. So uh, with some very high grade uh, individual results uh, within that uh, up around the 100 gram range. Uh, but it's uh, certainly an indication of uh, uh, one of these uh, high grade pods uh, that we know about. And uh, one of the interesting things actually is that this is entirely separate from the Pamlico Ridge itself, uh, which is just off to, uh, to the southwest of us here. I'm standing at the portal of the 5471 level of the Pamlico Mine. To the right of me, you can see a small exploration uh, stub at it that was driven just to explore this highly mineralized fault zone. And then this uh, exploration shaft was sunk on that same structure. Uh, that goes down about 30 feet. This level goes back into an extensive series of uh, stopes that actually go all the way through the mountain. From this level we can in fact go uh, up through a series of stopes and come out the far side of this, uh, this ridge. Uh, some of the uh, ore out of here was very high grade. We've announced uh, uh, sample intervals in here in some of our previous press releases. The, uh, the average grade here is uh, uh, somewhere around a gram and a half with uh, high grade samples exceeding an ounce. So I'm standing in front of the portal to the main haulage way for the historic Pamlico mine. Uh, this probably would have been accessed in the late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, so a lot of history here. The adits that we see, the old mine dumps uh, up in the hillsides above us, these would have been the main access ways for the miners getting into the different levels and uh, mining the gold mineralization in the hillside and then they would have dropped everything down through an ore pass uh, inside the mountain and uh, down to this level and then they would have hauled everything out here and then placed it out on the on the dumps in front of us and uh, we think that this is the largest uh, mine dump on the property dating back to the historic mines. The area that we're looking at right now is what we refer to as the gold scarn zone. It's a zone of highly anomalous scarn mineralization. It developed in sedimentary rocks, primarily uh, limestones. The ridge that you can see behind me is uh, the entire uh, scarn system. And the small knoll at the far end of that ridge is intensely mineralized with strong visual mineralization and historic soil geochemistry that indicates a 200 ppb golden soil anomaly covers that hill. The overall dimensions of this scarn zone are more than 750 meters in width and a kilometer and a half in length. This, uh, this particular zone is a very recent uh, development on the property. We had no idea this was here when we acquired it. And we'll be doing a lot more work uh, on this consisting of soil geochemistry, potential uh, trenching, and of course a lot of geologic mapping leading on into a uh, drilling program in the future.